Playing the guitar through a loud amp is probably one of the best things ever, but it's not always feasible. And playing an electric guitar unamplified is not a lot of fun either. So playing through headphones would be the obvious solution. And one of the easiest ways to do that is with a headphone amp like this, the new Katana Go from Boss. <laughs> Playing your guitar through headphones isn't a new concept, but most headphone amps have always seemed like a bit of a compromise and they all have different sort of levels of inconvenience baked into them. So a lot of the more budget end models, sound quality isn't great and your guitar ends up sounding like wasps in a jam jar, or the usability leaves a lot to be desired and you're kind of blindly pressing through preset buttons unless you want to unscroll a piece of paper that's got the key to what the presets are and different multi-push button commands that you have to get through. Or with some of the newer models, you're tied to an app, which let's face it, isn't the most inspiring thing to have to do when you just want to pick up your guitar and play. With the Katana Go, Boss seemed to have addressed pretty much all of these problems. Now this isn't Boss's first headphone amp. A few years ago, they came out with the Wazer Air series, which were totally wireless headphone amps, uh, both for guitar and bass. Uh, they featured all sorts of sort of gyroscopic technology in there and they were quite expensive. This is going to be a lot cheaper and I think it's going to be super popular. So firstly and most importantly, let's talk about sound quality. So a bit of a giveaway, it's called the Katana Go, and that's because what we've got here is actually the front end of a fully fledged Katana amp packed into a tiny little unit. So we've got all of the amp sounds, the variations, we've got all the effects, everything that you've come to expect from the Boss Katana range is all packed into here and it sounds brilliant. If you've never played through a Boss Katana amp before, well, congratulations for living under a rock for the last couple of years. They're everywhere and for very good reasons. If you already own one, this should be an absolute no-brainer for you because you can actually load your patches that you've saved in your Katana amp, whether that's a Mark I or a Mark II, 50, 100, doesn't matter. You can load those sounds directly into the Katana Go and take those sounds with you anywhere. If you don't own a Katana already, this is a really good place to start. <laughs> Let's take a look at the unit itself. It looks pretty much like any other modern bug style headphone amp. We've got a jack plug there, plug straight into your guitar. And then we've got a mini jack socket on the top there for you to plug your headphones into. Like any other headphone amp on the market, you do have to use wired headphones with this. Um, you can't use Bluetooth headphones on anything really because there's just too much latency for guitar playing. It's not a very nice experience. If you do want a fully wireless headphone amp experience, go and try out the Wazer Airs because they are really, really good. So to get the sounds in this video, we've been just running out of this mini jack socket into an interface. So if you wanted to, you can plug this into monitors, plug it into a PA system, anything you want really. Big volume control on there and we've got a screen. Finally, we get a headphone amp that's got a screen on it, which is really helpful. Lets you see what sounds you're playing through, uh, different presets and stuff like that. Uh, also means that we get access to a tuner on there, which is really, really helpful, it means that we're not going to be scrambling around for a headstock tuner. On the side here, we've got a bank switch, which lets us switch through the 10 banks of presets or saved sounds. Each bank has three sounds there, A, B, and C. They're laid out pretty intuitively. So on the presets, it tends to be, A is going to be a higher gain sound, B is a kind of crunch sound, and C is a cleaner sound. 
Obviously, there's all sorts of different sounds in here because it's drawing on Boss's legacy of effects. So there's all different drives, modulations, delays, but there's also cool stuff in here like slow gear, uh, there's ring modulation, and all sorts of pitch shifting and harmonist effects too. And on the other side, we've got an on-off switch. We've got a charging indicator there because the Katana Go is rechargeable over USB-C. So we don't have to worry about batteries or anything like that. Full charge will last around about five hours of playing, so plenty of time on there. Next up, we've got a Bluetooth switch there. So this allows you to stream Bluetooth audios directly from your phone or whatever through the Katana Go and through your headphones. So if you want to play along to music or YouTube videos or anything like that, super easy to do over Bluetooth. Connecting to the Bluetooth MIDI on the Katana Go also allows you to access the smartphone app, which we'll talk about later. The last control on here is Stage Feel. Now this is technology that's been inherited from the Wazer Air headphones. And what this does is it positions your guitar sound in the stereo space of your headphones and adds some ambience to it. So it actually sounds and feels like you're playing the guitar through an amp, which is positioned either in front of you, behind you, wherever you want it to be. If you're playing along with music, this is really cool because what it does is it actually puts your guitar sound in the mix rather than on top of it, which is a lot more inspiring to play to. I should probably mention as well that the USB-C socket is class compliant, so the Katana Go can actually function as an audio interface. So you could just plug that straight out the USB-C socket into your computer, open it up in your door, and record straight off the Katana Go. For a change, bass players haven't been forgotten with the Katana Go. For the last couple of years, Boss have been making some pretty big moves in the bass market. We've had the Katana Bass series of amps. We've had the Dual Cube for bass, which has been really popular. And Boss also made a set of the Wazer Air headphones exclusively designed for bass players. The Katana Go actually features a full bass mode, not just a couple of token presets. Switching it into bass mode gives you access to 10 full banks of presets. Each one has three presets on there, just like the guitar one. I'm not going to pretend to be a bass player, but it would be unfair if I didn't play through at least a couple of these. I mentioned an app earlier, and this way you can really begin to unlock the potential of the Katana Go. It's a super simple to navigate smartphone app that lets you edit and create whatever sounds you want. Just opening up the app, you can see exactly how much Katana DNA is in the Katana Go. So we've got all the different amp types that you'll be familiar with. We've got the variation button on there, which is kind of mirrored on the, the Mark II series of Katana amps. Uh, we've got all the effects in here. We can scroll through edit them. You've got so much potential there for creating really interesting sounds. Super easy to use. Just scroll up and down. We can see all of the saved presets there. This is in the guitar mode at the minute, obviously, uh, but it's exactly the same for the bass mode as well. Really, really easy to use. And the cool thing about the app and the Katana Go is that you don't have to use the app you could never touch the app if you didn't want to. All the presets are in there. They're super easy to scroll through. You can get by with them, no problem. You could even just open the app once, make the edits that you want to make, never touch it again. It's there if you want it. You can also access Boss 
Tone Exchange in the app, which lets you download different patches from all sorts of different players. Really cool thing. Uh, there's also a session player functionality on there. And what that does is it lets you load in a YouTube video and you can then slow it down, speed it up, whatever you want to do with it. It's a really great practice tool. You can even put markers in there that will change your guitar sound at different points in the video. So it's a really, really easy to use and simple practice tool that lets you sound the best. If we go into the system settings there, you'll see that there's a head in there for wireless pedal settings. What this is for is to allow you to use the Katana Go with Boss's existing range of wireless foot controllers. These were created for use with the Wazer Air, but they also work with the Katana Go. So you can go into there and you can assign either the FS1WL, which is a multifunction foot switch, which will let you change banks, change patches, turn effects on and off, whatever you want to do. Or you can assign the EV1WL, which is the wireless expression pedal. So you could do volume swells, you can control wires, anything you want to do with that. You can only add one of these wireless foot switches at a time, um, but each one of them allows you to add a standard foot switch to it. So it's basically a case of if you want to use the foot switches, decide which way around you want to use it, whether you want to get the wireless expression pedal and add a foot switch, or if you want to get the foot switch and add a normal expression pedal. So that's the first look at the Boss Katana Go. Like I say, I think these are going to be insanely popular. I can't believe that they've packed this much functionality, usability, and great sounds into such a tiny unit at this price point. Go get one. <laughs> Thank you.